Welcome back to a whole new episode of How To Amp. Today, we're working on my hiking blog, which has a sidebar menu for navigation. The sidebar opens when I interact with the hamburger button inside my header. This is great for saving space on mobile devices, but desktop screens have a lot more room. So today, we're going to create a responsive navigation menu that presents the sidebar to mobile users and a top-level navigation bar for those on desktop. My mobile header is wrapped in a div with the header mobile class. I'll add another div below it and give it the header desktop class. I'll then jump over to my CSS, copy paste header mobile, and replace mobile with desktop. Then I'll add display none to the header mobile just to remove it while we work. We now have a blank header to start adding in our desktop menu. For our desktop menu, we're going to use, you guessed it, an AMP component. Today, it's AMP Mega Menu. AMP Mega Menu gives us a horizontal navigation menu at the top of our page. We can add menu items that link to different pages, or when clicked, they can open content containers. I'll import the script into the head of my document. Then I'll add an AMP Mega Menu component inside of the header desktop div. AMP Mega Menu requires a layout of fixed height, so I've added that and given it a height of 30. AMP Mega Menu must have a single nav as a direct child, and that nav accepts either an unordered list or an ordered list. I'm using unordered. Each list item is a menu item for AMP Mega Menu. Here, I'm simply copying and pasting the menu items. But in practice, you would probably want to auto-generate these to avoid duplicating code. Each item is a link to a different page, so those all have anchor tags, except for hikes. I want hikes to drop down with more options when users click it, so I've turned it into a span. To transform the hikes option into a dropdown, I'll first add the role attribute with a value of button. This tells AMP Mega Menu that interaction with this element toggles a dropdown. And that dropdown is specified by adding a div where the role has a value of dialog. Then I'll add in all of my available hikes. And when I click hikes, it opens a dropdown. This is great, but I got two things left to do. Make it look good and make it responsive. I'll add in the title of my blog, then hop back over to my CSS and add some styles. I'm able to customize a lot of things, like how the menu items look and how the dropdown appears. That's so much better. But the final and probably most important part, showing this menu to desktop users and the sidebar to mobile. To do this, I'll add a media query into my CSS. If my screen is larger than 600 pixels, I show the desktop header and hide the mobile header. I'll do some final fixes, and there you have it. A responsive menu that shows the top nav for desktop and a sidebar for mobile. As always, thanks so much for watching. <laughs>